Hey guys, welcome. This is Al Heck over at GameDevHQ.com and I'm going to show you another Cinema 4D quick tip so that you guys can build some awesome game assets for your video game. So in this instance, I have a stain in Photoshop that is a PNG and I want to bring that over into Cinema 4D and I want to apply it on top of an old table. How do I do that using body paint and how do I make it look awesome? I'm going to show you right now, so enjoy. Okay, so we have this table here that is available on Game Dev HQ's file base for pro members. Uh, free to download as much as you want for any video game you want. And we want to add a stain. Now, I went online and I found this really cool stain in Photoshop. And it looks just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to save this out as a PNG, which I currently have right now. And that's what the PNG looks like. And we're going to drop this into Cinema. Now, what most people would like to do is they just want to be able to copy this. So let's say we select it and hit copy. And they go to Photoshop. And let's say we're going to, or Cinema 4D. And let's say we're going to go ahead to drop it on, you know, this particular layer. And we hit paste. Well, it's not going to recognize the alpha channel. So it's just going to come in black and it's going to be a pain. Uh, and then you got to go and alpha it out and everything like that. It's no fun. That's not what we want to do. Here's how we want to do this. We just actually want to take the stain file and drop it into this area right here, which would be technically like the image manager, the, the 2D UV mode, texture manager, whatnot. And you see how it drops it in. It brought in the color and the alpha. Go ahead and take the alpha and drop it up here. So now they're on the same layer. And now go to edit. And let's see. Oh, sorry. You got to go to select, select it all, edit, copy. Now we're all set to roll. So if we go back to our color palette, you know, we can go to this layer, let's say right here, and then do a paste. And now our alpha channel is embedded. So now we can take this and adjust the scale, adjust the size to anything we want, and we can, you know, adjust the uh, uh, the the form of which it sits. So you know, if it's a screen or if it's a a color dodge or or, or whatnot. And let's say for this instance, we also wanted to maybe do this as a projection mode. So we would go on over here on this side and turn on our projection painting. And since we've already copied it, all we need to do is go onto this side and hit paste. And you can kind of see the edge of our, uh, let me scale this down a little bit so we can see it. You can see the stain is right there with the alpha channel preserved. So we can just kind of line this up to where we want it. And once we're good and happy, because you can see how it's like distorted based on our camera view, we can double click on it and we make sure we apply our projection and then you can see the stain is now on our table. So that was a quick and easy way to show how you can import a PNG and drop it into body paint onto your 3D objects. If you have any more questions, if you're looking for new tips, new tutorials, new game development awesomeness, go check us out at GameDevHQ.com and see the latest stuff. This is Al Heck, and I am out of here. Have a great day, everyone.